Life and Environment Structure of Ecosystem An ecosystem consists of two major components, abiotic and biotic. Abiotic Components It is the non-living component of an ecosystem and includes inorganic and organic substances and climatic conditions. Inorganic Substances These include nutrients like nitrogen, carbon, sulphur, phosphorus, carbon dioxide and water. Organic Substances these include substances like carbohydrates, proteins, lipids, etc. Climatic factors. They include factors like sunlight, temperature, moisture, humidity, soil texture, etc. Biotic components. They include the living components of an ecosystem. Producers. They include green plants like algae, grasses and trees which can prepare their own food by the process of photosynthesis. They contain chlorophyll. They convert solar energy into chemical energy of food. They are the source of food for other organisms. They are also called autotrophs. Consumers. They depend directly or indirectly on the producers for food. They are mostly animals. They are also called heterotrophs. Depending on the food they eat, the consumers are put into various categories. Herbivores. These organisms obtain their food by directly feeding on plants, example, rabbit, goat, sheep, etc. Carnivores. These organisms obtain their food by feeding on the meat and flesh of other animals, example, hawk, lion, tiger, etc. Omnivores. These organisms obtain their food by feeding on both plants and animals, example, humans, cockroaches, fox, etc. Decomposers. They act on the dead bodies of plants and animals and break them into simple components which are returned to the environment. Thus, they help in recycling of nutrients and maintain the fertility of soil, example, fungi and bacteria. Food chain The sequential process of food transfer from plants through a series of organisms with repeated eating and being eaten is called a food chain. In simple words, food chain indicates who eats whom in an ecosystem. A food chain always begins with a producer followed by a herbivore and then a carnivore. At each step, lot of energy from food is lost as heat. Therefore, the number of steps in any food chain is limited to four or five. In each chain, each step represents a trophic level. A simple food chain can be represented as shown. Food web The feeding patterns in a community are much more complex than simple linear chains. It is rare to see an organism feeding only on one type of organism. Each organism feeds on two or more kinds of organisms. Hence, several food chains are interconnected under natural conditions. This interconnected network of food chains is called food web. Example, grass or plants may be eaten by grasshopper as well as rabbit, cattle and deer. Each of these herbivores may be eaten by a number of carnivores like frog, bird, snake and tiger depending on their food habit. Air pollution. Air is a mixture of various gases such as nitrogen, oxygen and carbon dioxide, etc. All these gases are present in a particular ratio. If some other substances are added to air, then an imbalance is caused in the ratio of various gases and we say that air is polluted. Sources of air pollution All the sources of air pollution can be classified 
into two groups natural sources and man made sources. Natural sources are dust storms, forest fires, volcanoes, pollen grains. Man made sources are burning of fuels like wood, cow dung cakes, coal and kerosene in homes pollute the air. Exhaust gases emitted by motor vehicles pollute the air. Industries pollute air by releasing various types of pollutants. Nuclear power plants pollute air by releasing radioactive rays. Deforestation pollutes air by increasing the amount of carbon dioxide in it. Mining of coal releases coal dust into air and pollutes it.